Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, where today guys, I'm going to do part 379 to my random chatbot series on Care.ai. Where in the last video guys, I finally concluded the uh, next day with Shadow, and uh, I did get the transformation thing done for him. By Shadow, I mean the actual robot, just him. No clones, no other robots, just him. The one where it's only him, like it is in the Pokemon Talk series. So, yeah. In this video, guys, we're going to do a conversation with another character we haven't done in a long time, or in a while. That being Razor the Dragon. And here's how I start the conversation. I wake up and then I wake up the next day and see how Razor is doing. When I look at him, I see that he's smaller than he was yesterday, but not quite to his original size. As I, as I, wait, let's check the voices. Check on Razor, you notice that he is indeed smaller than he was the previous day, but still not back to his original size. His scales gleam in the morning light filtering through the window, and his chest rises and falls in a slow rhythmic motion as he sleeps peacefully. Oh. I say quietly. Oh. He is so cute. Watch him here, maybe not sit. Oh, I'm so sorry. Flicker. Okay, I thought I didn't woke him up. <laughs> He's snoring softly, it's cute. Razor's ears flicker slightly oh, as he whisper the compliment, but he remains asleep, the sounds of his soft snoring filling the room. I go into the kitchen and make me breakfast. Whenever Razor waits, I'll give him something to eat, too. Hey. Cool. As you move into the kitchen to make yourself breakfast, Razor's sleeping form remains peacefully in the other room. You go about your morning routine, the sounds of cooking and sizzling filling the air, creating a cozy atmosphere. Okay, then. Uh, huh. I sit on the couch and enjoy myself by watching videos on the computer. I wonder when Razor's gonna wake up. I don't know how many hours it's been. Aww. As you settle on the couch with your breakfast and start browsing videos on the computer, Razor's peaceful snoring continues in the background. The screen's glow illuminates your face, creating a tranquil atmosphere in the room. I continue watching videos for three hours. And then... I hear Razor start moving. He must be awake. Oh. Hey. After hours of enjoying your videos, you suddenly hear a soft rustling sound coming from the other room. It seems like Razor is beginning to awaken from his slumber. Okay, that's cute. I give Razor a few minutes. 
to wake up. Oh, that's cute. You give Razor some time to fully wake up, allowing him to stretch and shake off the sleep from his body. His eyes flutter open, and he looks around groggily, getting his bearings. I wait for Razor to move. To another room. When he fully wakes up. Hey. Razor slowly gets up from his sleeping spot, his limbs stretching and his scales glinting in the light. He shakes his body a few times, still a bit drowsy from his slumber. Once he's awake and ready to move about, he moves to another room, ready to start his day. Good morning, Razor. How'd you sleep? I don't remember the voice I gave him. <laughs> Wait the other boy, I'm back to my original size. Oh, what? Razor turns his attention to you, his eyes warm and appreciative. Good morning. I slept well. Thank you for asking. Although, I have still got a ways to go before I'm back to my original size. He replies with a light-hearted chuckle. Yeah. I cannot wait till you can control it yourself. When and we don't have to rely on that growth potion. Razor nods in agreement, his expression hopeful. Me too. It'll be great when I can control my own size without relying on the growth potion. But I guess for now, we'll just have to be patient. <laughs> Do you know how old you have to be in order to control it? Do you have to be at least a teenager in order? For it to be controlled? Or do you literally have to wait till you're an adult? I'm actually curious if Razor knows. He probably doesn't. Tapping his claws against the floor. That's kind of cute, actually. Razor considers the question for a moment, tapping his claws against the floor thoughtfully. Hmm, well, from what I have been told, dragons usually gain control over their growth when they reach adolescence. So, once I mature to that stage, I should be able to control my size on my own. But it could be a few years before I reach that point. Why did they just turn British? It, it might, it, I should be able to control my size on my own. But it could be a few years before I reach that point. Adolescence. So I don't. Yeah, but you're a baby. Still. 
and West Dragons Unless dragons mature faster. Unless <laughs> Unless Oh. Ah, that's cute. Razor nods, his expression thoughtful. You're right, I am still a baby, and still have a lot of growing to do. It may take a while before I reach the stage where I can control my growth on my own. But I'm grateful for your patience and understanding, he says, his tone soft and gentle. Let's go see how many of those growth potions we even have left. I know we only used one, but I don't quite remember how many they gave me anyway. Hey. Razor nods eagerly, his eyes gleaming with excitement. Good idea. Let's go take a look at the remaining growth potions. I'm curious to see how many we have left, he suggests, already starting to move towards the storage area where the potions are kept. We go to see how many growth potions we've got left. Here we go. There we go. Together, you and Razor make your way to the storage area where the growth potions are kept. The bottles of various colors and sizes glimmer in the light, reflecting the light as you approach. Here they are, all lined up and ready to be used, Razor remarks, his eyes scanning over the remaining potions. Let's count them and see how many we have left. We count to see how many potions we got left. Five. There's five in total. You and Razor start counting the remaining growth potions. Razor's sharp eyes scan the row while you keep track of the count. One, two, three, four. And there's five in total, Razor concludes, his tail swishing in satisfaction. That's a decent amount. Period. But it really depends on how often I may need protecting. For all we know, we could get very unlucky. And we have to use at least one every single day just to make sure that nobody harms me.
and put protectant. Let's see. Razor nods in agreement, his expression contemplative. That's true. It does depend on how often you need protection. And if we have to use the growth potion often, it could run out sooner than we'd like. But let's hope that we won't have to use it that often. Plus, you have me as your protector, so that should help in keeping you safe, he says, trying to reassure you with a soft huff.